Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Remember, in the last episode, this town event happened. We're getting a lot of these actually since uh, the patch. There was a sort of a dearth of them, and then suddenly we get three in a row, or three in very quick succession. And they all seem to have been... I don't want to say beneficial necessarily to us, because the one where we got a Darkest level extra dungeon to do did um, cause us to have to resurrect Viva Phonics here. Luckily as a Vestal, so they're actually still very useful, but did kill a character, not ideal. In the last episode, we now have plenty of money as a result thereof, so that was a well-constructed sentence, and grammar is something I've been good at for my entire life. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Um, I think in this episode, because of this town event, we should probably try and do something in the Warrens, and why not try and do this boss? <laughs> I'm looking at it, I was thinking, this seems like a great idea until I actually say it out loud, and I'm thinking, maybe not such a good idea. Well, we're not going to take this party by any means, mostly because a lot of them have gone slightly doolally recently. But also, we did completely, or almost completely, fix everybody, at least in terms of stress, as a result of the town event that gave us free stress relief for really no reason. They didn't have to do that. So I'm very grateful to them for having done so. Um, but who would we take against the Swine God? I mean, it's going to be a tiny little thing at the back, huge thing at the front, right? That's how it works, or is it the other way around? I forget. But in either case, we're definitely going to be able to hit the majority of the locations. But I think what it means is we don't necessarily want to take a Vestal, a Hellion, considering that Iron Swan might not be that useful to us. Because we're not going to be aiming at a target at the back like we were with the Ruins boss, the um, the Prophet over there. So maybe we just want to go for a DPS heavy party, possibly something that will help us do debuffs, but we definitely, definitely want to be able to heal as much as we possibly can. Now, what's your... That's fine. So we probably want to put D in because the Lethargy is not a problem uh, entirely. Maybe uh, Megistos, for example, with the Protect, which can fail, but it might be a good idea to put them in the front, because we have this Repost uh, ability, which is great. In fact, if we take two Reposters, we can actually get a decent amount of damage done, and both of these two units can actually swap positions f with no real problems. Uh, now, having said that, I'm thinking maybe we take Erasmus or Martinus as well. A, to try and use the snuff box in camping in order to get rid of both their uh, disease and D's disease here, which is not that big a deal for a uh, Vestal, but, you know, two birds, one stone sort of thing. Having said that, it would adjust the positions of our party to a considerable degree, and will it work? This is what I would expect to use. I mean, honestly, this depends on the order in which these characters play. Open Vein could be good. But I think what it means... Okay, let's let's figure this out using maths. Geometry. Erasmus starts here and goes first because of the trinket. Erasmus moves to here. Can Megist then... I will be here and then we'll be in that order. This person, this me here, can still do everything that's useful from this position except for point blank shot, but point blank shot will be useful if I ever get to the front, which will happen not as a result of that okie dokie. We can still do this, this, and this. Maybe then we just don't take point blank shot and we do something like tracking shot, which gives me a buff. Or a pistol shot, which does damage versus mark. So we don't really have a marking party, so that's not going to be useful. But if we did this, that would be a consistent buff. Then Megistos can do a forward move here if they want to try and stun. Can still do this, 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 and we could do all these from this position, but it's quite important that they move forwards again. Because if if I go next, then Megistos basically can't do anything useful. Well, that being said, most of these are decent in that position. And then Erasmus starts moving backwards. Do you think it'll work? Or we could just go straight up for this, which is a level 3 long mission. Because the event. Only gives us XP and... Well, it gives us damage, but damage is damage. I mean, if we go for a decent enough party, it doesn't matter. But in fact, 
part of me thinks maybe the damage is better on a level 3 mission because we can actually afford to upgrade the level 3s that we want to take. Because we can afford to upgrade a lot of people. That's probably the good thing. We, that's the position we're in right now is that strong. Maybe we take like Homesy. Psycho's hanging out. Yeah, you can go here. You can go here. What's your major malfunction? Oh, two things, right. So let's... But we can't take either of our Gravediggers because they're both leveled up too far. I think we go with plan A. Worst case, we run away. So... Uh, we could take Zeke, actually. Ophelia and Tapeworm. Maybe. Let's put this here. I mean, it would be good to heal something that's worth healing, if that makes sense. Oh, Chekri, though. Chekri could be even better because it is the Warrens and there's a lot of um, curing of diseases going on. Uh, curing of blight available here. But we're not going to be able to do the curing of disease. Ooh. You can remove your own disease. Ah, you still can. Okay. Now, this is not quite as powerful as... Um, as a grave robber's one, because it does work on yourself. Yeah, self and one companion. Whereas this one is just self or one companion. That's very quick. I'll tell you what. We'll take Jackery. That's Marie. Hello, Brian. Don't you meow. Jackery's here, that's why I'm confused. No, that is Marie. Where did Jackery go? You're up there. We could take Marie. Neither of them has the... Right one here. What do you want? Look her off. Pat you on the back. Dude, this cat. Uh, we might as well take Marie because Marie doesn't have a disease, which means we don't have to use them both. But that means we need to go back to the... This person. Put Marie in there and unlock self one? Oh, we've got the... Okay, never mind. Well, we'll unlock it anyway, just in case. Because we might catch a disease and decide that it's worse. Uh, but for now, not necessary. We will also take me and Megistos. So these two are going to switch places a lot, but it means that Marie can get to stay there. Fair. So let's check out their equipment. No. Those two have decided to stay in there forever, apparently. Ziki. Uh, you can have... What was that noise? That must be the max level noise. Don't mind. Oh, Struth. Um, point blank shot's probably not what we're going to be using. We decided to use tracking shot, didn't we? Let's keep that there for now. I don't want to spend all of the money. That'll be a terrible idea. Uh, guild, yes. Megistos... I'm going to upgrade the one that has repost. One interesting sound. And these can probably stay as they are, maybe? What's this going to get us? Six points around. Probably take this one, because I don't want to hit the little piggy dude and kill it by accident. So we're really focusing this upgrade right now on what's most important, which is the damage specific for this boss. Oh god, that's a lot of money. <laughs> you can... Right, you get damage upgrade. We need some money to survive. That's only 2,000, so that, we need money to embark with. So I'll have to leave it at that, unfortunately, but we did get a lot done. Right, let's bring all these back. Uh, sort by... Class restriction. We are on mana arms. Let's do two eye patches again. 15% max HP, minus one speed. <sighs> minus four dodge could be good. Mostly I want you to have protection though. Possibly that. Probably something that doesn't increase our stress if we can avoid it. But there does tend to be a decent amount of stress everywhere at the moment, to be fair, especially at level five. Um, there is a like a protection charm somewhere that just straight up Increases protection with no real... I, I wish I could recognise these just by looking at them. You'd think I'd have done it for long enough by now. 25... There is not 
A straight up protection charm. More damage in position one, sure. Why don't you take that? Um, you can take more damage to range skills. No, because the stabby is a melee skill. We're mostly going to be relying on the melee skill, which is annoying. Uh, but you're going to want to go first, so we're definitely going to take this, my favourite of all, trinkets for any DPS heavy unit. Marie! Hmm. More disease resist. That might be good because it means... Oh, disease resist, not blight resist. You need blight resist. I was going to say it would be good because if you don't have to cure yourself of blight, you can cure another, another person of blight. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, have this. It does reduce our bleed resist, but the same skill does blight and bleed. And I'm expecting more blight than bleed in the warrants. Um, as for the rest of it, I mean, that gives us good blight skill chance as well, which is why I wanted to add it. Sort of, it's a double whammy. It helps in a, a great sense. Uh, are you better at the back by any chance? Doesn't actually matter. Okay. I'm just thinking if we swap you round. Can we please let me? Please? <laughs> please? Please? Let me. There we go. Then we could let Marie have the accuracy thing. Less speed is fine. And you are obviously going to have the usual pair things here. Good. Now we can provision. I think that's okay. Uh, feel free to let me know if I've done something stupid just now, but honestly, I, I'm not quite sure. This is going to be a medium champion mission. But it is in the Warrens. So I'll take a bit of extra food, but definitely I'm just going to take these medicinal herbs to help us out. Uh, on the theory that there's very often food carts and things in the Warrens, corpses and that sort of shit. Um, so we don't have to worry about overstocking on food right now. It does tend to drop a lot in the Warrens. I assume it's just a feature of the Warrens. Do we need anything else? I'm probably not going to take, again, it is a boss mission. I'm not going to take the skeleton kit and all those sorts of things that can help us collect stuff. We can deal with that in the future. Couldn't even really afford, unfortunately, to put Ellie in for stress relief. But I think I'm happy to embark. Let's just double check these. Everyone's got a thingy. Some people are slightly diseased, but that's Okay. Am I happy with this? Kind of. One anti venom is okay. Uh, let's embark and I will drink my beer. The great thing I had managed to bring through was brutish and stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. A village full of meat. I wonder what he's getting at. A nameless oh, brilliant. Yes. I do like turning up in the warrens. <laughs> it's only three rooms to the boss. It's obviously the boss here. It's the furthest away. Just have to survive until we... Excuse me, I'm clicking here. Survive until we get there. No scouting. <laughs> I was just thinking, no scouting. That usually means a trap. Don't stress out already, Marie. It's cool. Chill. Chill your beans, chill your bones. So, I think the amount of food you brought is correct. Why are you making those noises? Why have the noises changed today? Am I suddenly hypersensitive to them, or do you know something I don't? Dodge 35. We've got a very low chance of hitting this, so I think maybe we go for the higher chance to hit with the same chance to crit. Didn't crit. It does activate repost, which is why I like to start with that move. Now, we will also activate repost on this unit. It does mark a target. Maybe we should take pistol shot in future. It's level three as well, I didn't realize. I think I'll switch that round if I remember um, after this combat, because we do, oh, it must you. Never mind, retract. I'm a noob. Um, maybe if we can stun, or do we just plague him? Let's try and stun this one. I'd rather it didn't get the opportunity to disease somebody else. You resisted everything. Well, fuck you then, I guess. Stun again? No. Yeah, just do this. Fuck me. 
I mean, I know these trinket. I have had it pointed out that this trinket reduces my stun skill chance and max HP, but I wasn't trying to stun. This unit seems to always fail to do anything that could be dodged, and obviously that's very likely to be a confirmation bias. But at the same time, come on, I mean, come on, I do like repost because we've just done all that damage on their turn, and. Oh, you dodged it, you bastard. Debuff is... End of quest? That's bullshit. Taking the piss. Can I have a go? Yeah. Uh, let's plague them now that they're nearer to death. No resists? Two resists. I mean, I know they have high, high blight resists because they live here, but still. Come on. Uh, we did take tracking shot. I should probably switch this around until the boss, but honestly, I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, buff me, which is the important part. That's it. Yes. I mean, that took a lot of damage. But these things are just going to get wasted by this uh, constant repost, which is amazing. Uh... <laughs> Can we, s we could probably just kill this, right? Worth it. Now you heal this unit for a considerable amount, if you don't mind. Not very much at all. Uh, I feel like our our, our uh, heels have. Oh, what the fudge? I feel like our heels have not quite scaled with the amount of HP and damage that we have. We just got both of these on one one combat, by the way. One fucking combat. I don't have the thing that lets me dance back, which is a point blank shot. So I think actually maybe I do want to go for that. Let's just kill this. I was very confident that that would kill it, even though I had no reason to believe it would do. Look. <laughs> it's one, one HP, it's good enough. Grave Robber. More Blight skill. We don't really use the Blight skill of a Grave Robber, but it's nice to have. What is this? Uh, how about we don't press things that scare me, and we can move on with our lives. Let's continue. Um, put ourselves back in order. And let's switch this up a bit. We want to take... Point blank shot. Part instead of wicked slides. It's only level one though. No. What I'm actually gonna do is make better use of this one in future. Because it's a knockback and a stun, so it could put them out of order. Oh, please. <laughs> Um, for five minutes. Don't die from that. No good. Ancient traps Give me some food, though. Wait. Did resist something. You should blood. do something. Uh, this, uh, maybe. Um, I've... I got put off <laughs> by the thing with the dune. And the, can you have a hunger thing so that I can eat? Um, if we make good use of the... Both movement skills. Ah, thank you. Two. Um... <laughs> Brilliant. We can keep using the, the power of the movement skill to do a shitload of damage. Right, this is a problem. Uh, you're surprised, which means I can get a heal off if I so need to. If I so need to? If I so desire and truly need to. Um, We can hit both, I believe, with both units' uh, skill there. Play grenade versus noxious blast. Blight resist of 145%. 105%. Um, I think maybe we try and stun the one that's not had any damage done to it. It didn't work. Minor issue. <laughs> so now we set up this. Because we can do some okay damage with both units in these positions. But on the next turn, I'll probably make use, try to make use of the forward one on the Gestos. If that makes sense. So, well... I actually will now. Oh, big problem. Kind of a big problem. You're in the right place, though. But I'm just not happy with these debuffs. Look at this. It's outrageous. Um, you. All your things are kind of not as good as I wanted them to be. I should undo one of these and put this on. Disorienting Blast is not really helping right now, which is really annoying. I mean, everything's got a really high stun resist. I guess we just 
Try and stunlock it or... Yeah. It was resistant to everything this unit can do, which is a problem that I probably should have anticipated. Um, but at the same time. Fuck me. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the boss. I mean, I know it was close. We don't get a... Oh, shit. What are you doing here? That's a problem. <laughs> That's a big problem. Uh, Marie, I'm actually going to get you to move here so that D Ziki, Ziki can do their job, <laughs> basically. Uh, thank you for critting so much. So we're going to have to step forwards a few times here, but it'll keep Riposte on at least. Jesus Christ, and you dodged the Riposte, Teetering which is the worst brink, thing. Like, facing the this round. No, no, no. Not my favourite thing right now. Um, well. Consistent 13 HP heals, but consistent 20 actual damage, which is, you know, worse. <laughs> Basically. No two, no two ways about it, it's worse. We're going to have to change um, what Marie is using, because... Like, these are useless. We have to be able to do some bleed damage, basically. Uh, eeny meeny miny munchkin. You. Dodge. I don't know what that did, so... That helps. Um... I guess we guard... Like this. Because we both have... Oh, no, we don't. Your repost ran out. That's fine. And then we... This unit can take a hit now. So if I heal this unit... And with the extra protection there on top of it. It's going to be super handy. Fuck me. I don't mean to be mean to Marie right now. But they've been completely useless so far. Um, this one. Stun resisted again. I mean, 120% stun resist. What do you really expect, I guess? Can you please hit this unit, though? Because this is the one that's, you know, protected. Whilst that protection's on, I'm going to heal the one that's holding the protection. You actually managed to hit this unit, despite that... Fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, we've had... We've got all these blights and bleed options to... Cure. But they're not... Fucking... <laughs> No one's been blighted or bled, except for that one time when it was kind of too late anyway. Here, open vein. Have some bleeds. 35% bleed resist is at least valuable. You might as well start applying some tiny amount of healing to keep people away from actual death. But also... There's a crit on that, so we've got two at death's door. But now our units get a go, so Zeke will be able to heal that up. Still not a fan of it. Let's do this. Oh my god. I mean, half the point is that Megistos gets in the front, so... Oh, thank you. Look at that. That's amazing. So this unit, me, can charge forwards, right? But still. Just get stunned. Fuck. <laughs> Fine. Uh, repost. This is not going to plan. I think... I didn't realise that the resistances to the diseases, to the blight, went up quite so far. Um, as a result of it being a level 5 dungeon, basically. Because I knew that we would need to... Fuck me. I knew that we would need to heal a lot of blights and bleeds, which is why I brought Marie along. But I didn't realise that her actual damage output would be next to useless. Uh, I guess you just try. I mean, there's a small chance, right? There is. So when it works, it works. Have you got repost on? Yes. These dodges, though. Do you not have a minus dodge skill, or is that the hums? It's done. It's fine. It's only Marie. I mean, I hate to say it, but at the same time, Marie's not been our strongest, um, our most valuable character to date. 
I think this fight is in the bag, but at the same time, it's just resisted at 35%. I bleed that I was... Oh, excuse me. That I was basically counting on. Uh, crush. Oh, my face went. And you've got one fucking HP left. If you'd hit, it would have been more than enough to kill it. Even if you hadn't killed it with that hit. But this, is, this can do one damage. Just don't dodge it. Whatever. Uh, I didn't bring a key on purpose. Right, Marie. It is a level 3. Disorienting Blast still seems like it's going to be more useful than Noxious Blast, but Plague Grenade is the one I'm going to turn off. And we do have Marie in the wrong position now, which is very annoying. Simply based on this not being accessible at the back. So we're going to have to remember that. Which is a pain. Uh, this is the boss. So we camp now by hook or by crook. We have to camp now. Spark Don't have enough food for goal without hope. someone's got the disease, haven't they? Wait, three? I'm so confused. Who isn't eating? Stress eater. More film students. Well, it's not you. The runs, the worries, no. I'm I'm very confused. Why did you not why does somebody not want food and yet get food anyway? More damage in warrants, that's nice. But only meditate, that's okay. Tapeworm. More food consumed. Oh, because half would have been two, so it goes up to three. Four and then to five. Okay, dokie. So you're eating extra food. So you are going to Remove the disease. Hopefully both. I'm not actually sure. Uh, from... If. Hemophilia and tape home killed. Great. Not before we needed to eat, but okie dokie. Um, light bleeding. Don't really care about those. Let's see if we can reduce maybe the stress of one of these two units. Or can we increase the... No. I was thinking if we could increase the resistances of a unit, that will be extremely useful. So we probably want to do some of these things that allow us to get good stuff. So more damage seems like a great idea. Everyone got... you got crit, you got crit. You, that's very good. Uh, and then you will buff yourself. Gives us two left, which means we can do one of these ones that reduces stress, and that's basically it. So I'm going to reduce the stress of Megistos because they have the highest stress. And that is it, and hopefully we don't get ambushed in the night. As we didn't. The purchase, <laughs> right, ready to run away. And purpose is made clear. He who fights and runs away lives to run away again another day. Hooray! A combat between us and the boss. We should have cleared the path and then walked backwards, quite honestly, but what's done is done, I guess. I think I want to kill this, if possible. I mean, the very high crit chance on that unit, but it's still only about 20%, which is still only 1 in 5. You can't really be salty if it doesn't happen. Uh, okay. You're in exactly the right place. You are now dead. Oh, why is it always? Literally every... Now, I'm sure this is not confirmation bias. Every time... It's one more point of HP than it has of damage over time. Every time. Right, repost. We won't hit that one because it's going to die for sure. I guess we try and hit this one. It's not doing a huge amount of damage, but hopefully it attacks us several times and therefore we win by default. Okay, good. Yeah, bring it on. Four damage is fine. Slowly, gently. This I have got a lot of debuffs on this unit, which does not fill me with confidence. Bleed? No bleed. Good. Uh, you are going to open the veins of this one to try and avoid as much of its armor as possible. You didn't get it, but you still did six damage, which is actually quite admirable, considering the amount of protection that thing has. And then Megistos, I think I want you to just try and crush this. Yeah. Don't mind the overkill. I just want them to die. 
Is that bad? Yes. Can you all stop having 35% chance to resist a bleed and then succeeding all the time? You haven't got a like, negative to bleed skill, have you? Let's check when we finally stop playing. Bleed. Yeah. No. Um. Your retribution is off. Your uh, uh, repost, sorry. What is this? And you've got less bleed resist. Well, I guess that was uh, possibly a diva from that. I don't know. Don't ask me to pay attention to the game that I'm playing. I sort of let things happen as they happen. It's not... You haven't got a good blight. You've got a good blight resist. I hate you. I really do. Uh, I can't incision you, which is a shame. Because you got knocked to the back. We'll try the blight. It did work, which actually I'm very pleased with. Yeah, you've lost your bleed resist, so please actually be bled. So now you've got nine damage per round, so you're basically dead. You couldn't have hit the one with still repost on, but that's okay. I'll let you off. Let's do a party heal. Everyone needs it. Fives is okay. It's more okay for some than for others. Crush you, and you die. Okay, good. Have a go? No? Might as well move you. Probably could have done a heal or something, but, you know, whatever. If I remember to move, then maybe we'll actually be in the right position. Got a few, uh, a few portraits from that, actually, which is... No, don't move now! Honestly, I'm not sure why that sometimes happens. I don't know if it's a bug that you're just in move mode when you activate. Or maybe it's as a result of the fact that the last thing I did was to move. I couldn't tell you. You're all in the right place. Yes, we have our combat buffs. We're ready for the boss. I can't remember how this boss works, except for you don't kill the little pig. Yes, it is at the front. So the little pig was at the back, so I was correct not to bring the Hellion, because... Oh, fuck. That's bad. I need that. No, don't end these two. So our two probably most important units to not die first have been stunned and then marked. So we'll do this. See if we can at least make sure that... Ouch! That was a, literally a one-hit kill. Okay, <laughs> it was one hit, all my, all my health is gone. So, can we not do that in future? Is that okay? I'm glad I turned on incision. What's your blight resist? I actually got a very low blight resist. And neither of you two have a turn left, but neither do I. So I'm going to err on the side of caution and make sure that just in case we don't go first, I still have one hit left of not dying. Right, you resisted that stun, which is excellent. Now we can start stacking up the uh, debuffs on this Joker. I mean, six damage per round is going to bring this fucking hell. Look how much health he's got, though. It's unbelievable, Jeff. Don't, don't kill me. Uh, literally, this is the only option. I mean, we could do a Divine Comfort, but it's not a good idea. Right, start doing some damage. Perfect. Time to get this thing off the ground, get his ball a rolling. Wild flailing. What are you calling me? Activate repost. Yeah. I think it's a good idea just from the passive damage that we can get done. I hope we don't accidentally kill this bastard though. We might do actually. Okay, dodged. You are gonna keep stacking up this damage. Twelve damage per round. Don't end this one. Uh, hopefully, Magistus has not yet had a go. Which does mean we can, if we want to, try to use the guard. I'm scared, <laughs> frankly. Just going to whack the... Uh... Oh, okay. I mean, I don't like the fact that everything that happens kills us in one hit. And the fact that our Vestal can almost literally not keep up with that. Uh, do you have a stun? High stun resist, but I'd like to get back in position. So I'm going to do this. Move, obviously, obviously we're going to move, resist the move, but... What is bitter squeal? Is it just a mark? Resisted the deep stun. Crit on that. Probably not the most valuable of all crits, but 18 damage per round. Fuck, I forgot that did damage as well. Like, there's nothing I could do. I don't have any bandages. I can't eat in combat. So we'll do this again. Please let the healer have a go. Thank you. Please crit. 
I mean, this is just going to go around in circles, isn't it? It dodged. That huge, great thing just dodged a, a fucking... This is, a. Uh, this is fucked. I think we need a better party for this. And I am going to err on the side of not dying on the next turn and run away. Ah, shit. Yes, hit that one. Right, now nobody else gets to go until me. We run away. This skirmish may be lost. This is bad times. May yet be won. I don't care. Deal with it. Selfish, we're running away anyway. We'll come back to this. And we'll come back with a party that isn't basically wasted on every combat before the boss. And then the boss itself. Um, annoyingly, the boss itself was very um, very easily uh, going to succumb to Blight. So bringing along a Blight user was not a terrible idea. Oh god, these... <laughs> oh god, why? However, bringing along a Blight user before the boss was a terrible idea, so what are we going to do? Penance Hall. Ah, here's a bad one. Okay. The Penance Hall, which is what I've been referring to as the Abbey or the Church or whatever. You have lost faith. Okay, you're both de-stressed, which is great. Here's the Abbey. So the Penance Hall must just be... It's just this. Okay. What else did you say? Penance Hall is locked and the other two are cheaper to make up for it, which is actually kind of okay. So let's do... We didn't bring back much money. We brought back some money. And we should probably get rid of... Ah, fuck it. Now that I know that you can get free ones, I'm going to hold out for it. If we need to de-stress these units, we'll do so when we've got more money. Honestly, I think we should de-stress Ellie right now. Oh, yeah. Son of a... Press him, press him, press him, press him. Here you go. If we de-stress Ellie, we can go back on another mission where we get loads of Ellie stuff. Um, that was unfortunate. I'm not quite sure how to correctly deal with that fight because it was doing so much damage. Which means in... It seems to me that what that means is that you do the same thing as you did with the Prophet and you take along... Uh, an occultist and you start whacking it with the vulnerability hex and the weakening curse until it doesn't do any damage at all. My 35% damage. If you stack up three of those it's doing nothing, right? And they usually last for three rounds so you just keep wailing away at the weakening curse. Every now and then it will probably resist the debuff and that's like one round of damage and then you got you get back on your feet as a result but I think that's going to be the uh, tactic the next time we try that and that's going to be it for this episode I thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did blah 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 don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time <laughs>